What up, people? It's your boy Chig. That's right, you've just tuned in to the chopping block. And the last one of the series, too. Now, let's just get this out of the way. If you follow me on Twitter, which you should be doing, at Colossal Chig, handles in the description below, you all know why this is more swollen than usual. Yes, my elephant, <laughs> my elephant man impression is happening because let's just put it this way: bath mats. Turns out they're pretty important. <laughs> um, basically, I was on my way to work this morning, um, and I took a humongous, humongous fall, um, where it resulted in this little, this bump, which was at least three times the size earlier this morning. So that goes to show you how big this fall was. And then not only that, you would have thought that would be bad enough. But then I pulled my hamstring like an idiot. I could barely fucking sit down. I can Really, I can stand up. Can't walk very well, but I can stand up. But sitting down is a bitch. So, um, and yes, I am sitting now. But I tell you, it took me at least two hours to, to muster up the courage to do it. Um, anyway, let me get out that out of the way. So, first things first, what a 24 hours it's been at Arsenal, eh? <sighs> Only at our club. Um, I wasn't going to leave this video until Sunday, um, particularly with the, the events around, surrounding this. Um, but I, I thought, you know what, I'll soldier on and I'll do this video. Particularly because a lot of people have been asking me my opinion. Um, so, I'm not really going to touch on that too much. All I'm going to say is, Stan, get the fuck out of our club. Honestly, it's getting to the point now where it's just embarrassing to even read about Arsenal these days. Because if it ain't somewhere we're potentially buying or not buying or losing, it's this type of shit. It's just, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Um, This is one where Arsene Wenger, believe it or not, is not going to get too much criticism. Not too much. I'll come back to him. For me, it is the entire Arsenal board. Um, the contract situation at Arsenal is ridiculous. Um, how we have let people like Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, Meza Ozil, and the big one, Alexis Sanchez, go on into their last year, their contracts. Even Ramsey's contract, who you guys know I'm not a huge fan of his. Even his contract's winding down. You've got Kieran Gibbs, you've got Jack Wilshire. Those latter two, they can fuck off as far as I'm concerned anyway. But I don't understand whose strategy is it that we don't begin negotiations with these players until they're in their last 18 months of their contract. This is why I like... Listen, I hate the club with all my heart. But this is why I like the way Man United do business. They don't fuck around. They start, as soon as you're in the last two and a half years of their contract, they start negotiations. If you haven't agreed and you're in the last 18 months of the contract, they flog your ass. They don't start it then. Look at De Gea. Oh my gosh. This, this is what I'm trying to say. Real Madrid quickly, quickly got backslapped by United. They quickly, they asked a the question about De Gea. Told in no uncertain terms, fuck off. Ain't been back since. Simple as that. That's how you do business. Not this stupidness every single season where the player now has the power. Now we're in this in a ideal situation. Oh, flip me. That statement made me laugh. I know I said I weren't going to criticise the old man, but come on. Dark, I, I get that the board put you in this situation. Don't come out with shit like that. Because it just sounds stupid. There is nothing ideal about this situation. Losing three of our better players, potentially next year for free. There is nothing ideal about that situation. We have to get this situation resolved. I was getting prepared to do this show. And then I realised Arsenal actually made a change in the background. We brought in someone killed Hus Fahami. Did you guys even know that? He came in in June, along with that fitness guy that we got from Australia. 
and he's a sky and contracts legal expert apparently and he's supposed to be the one taking care of all this contract stuff now i'm not going to put it on him the motherfucker just walked into this shit hole <laughs> no, he just walked into the shit show. He doesn't know what the fuck's going on. He's just trying to get his bearings. Why has it taken this situation to all of a sudden correct to correct something that's been happening for years? For years. Which begs the question, who the fuck's responsibility was it in the first place? I have to assume that as the supposed head negotiator, that's Dick Law's job. But this is the thing, I want to put all the fucking board in my in my caption. They're all as responsible as each other because somebody should have flagged that shit up. Somebody should have brought it to somebody else's attention. This club is going to be, honestly, it's, it's one of the most frustrating clubs because every single season you feel like if it can just tweak some shit on and off the pitch, they'll be in an ideal situation. But as per usual, we're left looking like laughing stocks. And then, including yesterday's nonsense of this whole hunting bullshit. Mind you, I'm not even particularly an animal person. But what the fuck? Who, who has the, who has that idea? Oh, I'm gonna uh, create a, a hunting channel for people to watch. This, what kind of sadistic shit is that? I don't wanna see that shit. <sighs> That's why for me, get rid of every single one of these fuckers. Stan, please sell up. Replace the entire board. And who knows, maybe, just maybe, in three, four years time, we might be in a position to actually do something major. Because at the moment, this, this shit show is, is going on for too long. And I put that firmly at the feet of Stan Kroenke and the rest of his cronies. Anyway, guys, you let me know what you think. Um, what, what do you think about this shit show? The entire thing, from the contract negotiations to to letting players' contracts drag on to the ideal statement to the hunting thing. It's just a shit show. What's going on? Let me know what you think down below. All right, people, I'm out of here. Please, if you do like this um, this episode, please crush that like button for me. You guys know I appreciate it. Much love when you do that. Also, if you're listening to me for the first time, I'm not quite as ugly normally. I'm so conscious of this bump. <laughs> but do hit that subscribe button. I'm going live with Lee, Sam, and Henry. Shout out to those three guys um, on Thursday. So you guys will enjoy and love that show. Because you know, you know they're big personalities, so I'm just going to leave them to it. I'm going to leave them to rant and talk. So uh, hopefully you guys will like that show. All right, people, I'm out of here. Take care. Peace.